Hello there guys, welcome to another tutorial and today we're going to be doing the old Terminator um, arm effect um, as seen in the Terminator films with the open wound um, and the moving mechanical parts inside so it's a pretty straightforward tutorial uh, so let's begin so first of all I've taken a bit of video here of me with my arm on the table uh, moving my fingers as you can see I've got two pen marks here and uh, that is going to help me with my tracking uh, so that's why I placed them on my arms so let's track first so with my clip selected I'm going to come up to animation uh, track motion I'm going to get my first track point and I'm going to place it over the first blue mark here come down here click on rotation and then place the second track point over the second part and this is so we can get a decent track uh, from this in here I'm going to create a new null object and this is going to be our tracking uh, data for the whole project so we only need one tracking piece of tracking data edit target um, I'm going to make sure that sets an old two click OK and then I'm just going to simply analyze forward and hopefully with the tracking marks that are placed on the arm it's going to give us a nice clean track So it's looking all right so far. Right, so that's done. So I'm going to click apply on that X and Y, click OK. So now we've got our tracking data for the whole project uh, all set up here in my null 2. I want to go back to the start of the composition. Now I've got a few pictures. I've got one here of um, obviously the Terminator's arm already decapitated. I've got a PNG pulp and I've got some flesh um, uh, textures here so uh, first of all let's bring our first part in which is our arm click on the masking tool and then I'm just going to simply uh, mask around uh, the meat avoiding the arm like so and then I'm going to hit F on the keyboard, I'm going to feather that up a bit. And then I'm going to hit S on the keyboard and scale that down. Now I'm going to get my rotation tool. Just going to swing that around so obviously the, the, the poles or the pistons, whatever you want to call them, um, are in line. My arm, let's just come out of that. Select some picture again. Gonna scale that down, bring it to about here. Bring it forward, a little bit more rotation, about there, and then bring this down about here. And this is gonna be rename uh, flesh arm. Title it whatever you want, guys. It's entirely up to you. And then I am gonna parent that first part to my null objects. So now we should have our first part uh, complete. So my arm's moving, that's tracked quite nicely. Wait for that to run preview. You know we should be good to go. Right, that'll do for now. Okay, so the next bit is our poles. So we're obviously uh, Webby poles, uh, Webby poles are here. We're going to need three of these because there's three in the arm. So I'm just going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring pole number one in here. And I'm going to rename this pole one. And I'm simply going to play around with the way this pole is positioned. So I'm just going to turn it around. And the goal is to uh, place it over the other one. So I'm just going to get that in position. And just make it sort of level with the other pole. And I'm 
just going to scale it down a bit more and put it say about there maybe a little bit more rotation right so and then I'm simply going to come on and do this two more times oh I don't know what I just did there where's my pole the control D that twice and I'm going to bring this one here and I want to bring where's this one this one there about there maybe make that one a little bit smaller to fit the pole and maybe this one here the pole there right so okay so we've got our poles in our arms now the trick is to animate this so I'm simply going to fix um, I want to rename this middle pole uh, let's name this one top pole Let's rename this bottom pole. Cool. Now we're going to um, look at the, basically select all of these, hold shift, bosh, bosh, and let's just parent that with our null object as well. So they basically uh, stay in place. And uh, we're going to select our uh, middle pole, or we're going to watch our fingers. So all our fingers move there, right? So we're going to hold shift, select our three poles, hit P on the keyboard, hit stopwatch for all three of them, move our hand up until it moves to about there, and just bring that that way. So we've got all our hands moving there with the poles. So that don't look too bad and then we're going to select our uh, see what what finger moves so it's the bottom one here as you can see so we're going to go to our bottom pole and then I'm going to bring that pole on its own up and then back down like so so the pole's moving like that. And it's basically just keyframing um, everything so it, it blends in with the movement. So now we've got our top finger here. So let's go back to before it starts moving. So we've got our top finger. And let's go to about there. And move our top one over just a bit. You just want to be um, little movements basically. So that would do for that part, so that would be okay for that part, I suppose. Right, so now I've got a bit of a meat. I'm just going to drop that on top. And basically I'm going to drop the opacity down on this piece of meat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pen tool. And the idea is just to mask around where... Um, the uh, fleshes so we're just trying to blend it in really right, so right let's hit F on the keyboard for that let's fill it up and just play around with how we position it right, so Go to um, effects, uh, color correction, curves, uh, sorry, color correction curves, bring it down so it's dark and it sort of blends in with the uh, arm. And then we're going to pair this one to our null object as well. 
So maybe uh, scale that bit up. About there. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. It's okay. And then simply we're going to select our top beat, Control D, duplicate that, bring the other one over, and just simply uh, rotate it around. Uh, bring it back into position. So we're covering that bit like so. And that should be automatically uh, parent uh, to your null object because it's um, uh, uh, a, a copy, sorry. So I'm just going to scale that one up a bit. This on the keyboard and just scale that up just slightly. Um, and place this over. So it's, it's covering the mechanics um, of the uh, arm. So that don't look too bad. That looks a bit off. So let me set that one, go to effects. Uh, we've got a color correction here, so let me just bring that really down. Alright, so, and maybe uh, duplicate that. Control D again. Just to place it sort of over the wound so it uh, blends in nicely. And then it's entirely up to you if you've got, uh, let's go to import file. Um, I'm going to go to my stock footage, uh, which is here. Um, Action Essentials 2, Blood. Um, let's go Blood Splatter. Bring that in. Uh, let's drop this on top. And let's go to uh, layer, time, uh, freeze frame. And let's just put that about there. Because it's freeze frame guys, we can stretch this out as a normal JPEG. Hit S on the keyboard, scale that down. So we'll bring it into sort of position. Scale it down a bit more. So that sort of blends in with the uh, set our normal mode to screen. Now let's set that to add actually. Now let's keep that normal. I like trying different things. Right, and then we're going to pair that blood to our no object to as well. And what that's done is just giving us a bit of um, blood um, on our arm. Right, so. And then you can sort of blow around with it, uh, colour correction. Um, as you see fit really so now when we play back we should have a nice terminator arm effect maybe sort of fix the places where um, so if we get this one and control D that one as well and then get the top one this one control D that and then get the top one Control D that we're just making it um, sort of covering the um, the movement of the of the poles. Let's just bring that around. Right, so, and then what we can do is we can get our blood splatter. Control D that one, and we can bring this up here, and then just put this. Uh, below our arm here maybe scale that up and just play around with the, the overall look remember every one you do um, here remember to parent to the old tooth Ooh. and just basically play around with the actual overall look of it so yeah, that is it guys. That's how you do the Terminator arm um, in After Effects. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please remember a like rating would be appreciated. And guys, I'll definitely catch you in the next tutorial. Ciao, ciao.